Well, I got it wrong in the last video on the keep out zones and how those actually work. Uh, and also the fact that there is a 3D view button to enable and disable the viewing of them. So let's recap what I said, and then we'll take a look at how they actually work. What I said was you would draw your keep out zone. And in this case, I used one of my products and I was imagining that there was a hole down on the corner of the part over here and you would select your keep out zone. And I put in a clearance of five inches and this is where I was wrong. I assumed that that clearance was the Z clearance. So when the G code gets generated, it's aware of that in this particular case, a hold down clamp and will lift the tool up and over any obstruction that you've defined in a keep out zone. That's not correct. What the clearance is, is actually clearance around the zone that you've created. So it's in the X, Y plane, and we'll actually see that. And there was actually another little subtlety in my video yesterday, where after I generated the keep out zones, a bunch of little red circles with white lines through them and yellow triangles with an exclamation point appeared. And I was a little concerned about what those meant and they didn't go away. Well, it turns out it's because the keep out zone that I created with a clearance of five inches obstructed the entire part because it's, as you can see here, only about five inches wide. And uh, consequently, the entire part was being blocked out from, from having G-code generated. And in fact, Carve Pro and Aspire both will not generate G-code for the areas where the keep out zone is defined. So let me show you how I did it yesterday with a five inch clearance and what is up with that. So we'll go into the 3D view just because it's a little bit, I think, more convenient to see this. And we've got our keep out zone defined. Let's see, I'll take a look at that particular projection. So I want to do a clearance five inches and I'll click create from selection and boom, all of a sudden I see what I thought was a keep out zone, which was this rectangular block. And then of course, all of the little red circles and yellow lines. Had I actually zoomed out of this a bit and oh, so here's the keep out zone uh, button that I mentioned. I thought you could only access this from the view menu which is true. There is a draw keep out zone and view menu, but if you've got keep out zones defined, this new button will show up here. And it's subtle because it's just slightly different than the toolpath visibility button, except for it's got the little keep out zone pink regions in it. So I've got to pay attention to that, but it does actually show up. So now if I zoom out, you can see what's going on here. You'll see this large rectangular region and that is that five inches around the keep out zone that I defined and so consequently the entire part and all of the tool paths that would have been generated are actually inside of that keep out zone so they won't be generated and it's kind of cool you can actually now go back and say okay what I really mean is let's have a point one inch keep out zone around this region and I'll create from selection close show keep out zone and now you can see the red dotted line around that keep out zone that defines the actual keep out zone that the tool won't collide into also notice i have this little stack of yellow warning indicators here which tell me that yeah, these are dangerously close so imagine as the tooling is coming around this path it's coming very very close to this keep out zone and so this might collide. So you got to be aware of that. So the safest thing to do is to make sure that your keep out zone is well away from where any cut paths are or to define a more precise clearance for the keep out zone. So you could actually define a zero clearance, draw in your vector shape here to be the precise size that you needed without that extra margin of safety around it. So as you can see now, we've got our keep out zone, but we don't have any of those yellow warning triangles because it's well clear of the of the toolpath. In fact, we go up here and look at it. You can see the toolpath is here and the keep out zone is there. So that's an update on what keep out zones actually are. Again, I thought that the clearance was the Z height of over the zone that you had created, when in fact what it is 
is clearance in the xy plane around the keep out shape that you defined as a vector. The actual z clearance continues to come from the rapid z gap above the material, which currently I have set as two. So again, this is kind of a downside. If these clamp mixtures that I had here have, say, a large knob and a projection of a threaded rod up into the work zone, say two inches, you know, you really want to be safe. You should probably make uh, your clearance a little bit higher so you don't actually whack into one of those hold down attachments when the machine rapids from one place to another. So that pretty much does it for an update on keep out zones and how they actually work.